When Crosstown Elementary opened in downtown Vancouver some three years ago, it was supposed to be the answer for urban parents raising children in condos. But the school, like many in the lower mainland, is already bursting at the seams. And now, dozens of parents, including a veteran city planner, are finding out their children can't get in. CW Shannon Patterson reports. It's no accident Brent Totterin lives near this downtown elementary school. My wife and I are both city planners and we didn't want to own a car, so we knew that Crosstown was coming, so more than 10 years ago, we bought across the street. They assumed their kids would be students here, but three years after it opened, Vancouver's newest school is bursting at the seams. So many parents want to send their kids to Crosstown Elementary for kindergarten in the fall that the school held a lottery. And on Wednesday, Totterin found out his son didn't win. My wife and I uh, have thought a 10-year strategy based entirely on, on, on this school location. It's almost as if the school had closed, but it isn't closing. It's just close to us. We've been talking about this school being his kindergarten for three years. But Eli Putterman's son didn't win the lottery either. We're really quite devastated that our son's not going to be able to make friends in the neighborhood and play with his friends after school in the neighborhood. While overall enrollment in the Vancouver School District is plummeting, demand in the downtown core is skyrocketing. I think it's really poor planning. There's very little foresight. The province needs to look at scenarios like renting office space temporarily, like the private schools do, for example, to, to essentially create urban portables. Look, uh, the Vancouver School Board is, is free to look at innovative ideas. That, that, that is exactly why they consult the community to get those kinds of ideas. Ideas that could help other parents down the road, but not Totterin. In terms of our little boy, we haven't told him yet. We don't want to tell him he can't go here until we can tell him where he can go. Unfortunately, it won't be the school right across the street. Shannon Patterson, CTV News, Vancouver.